the same chip. He's good. Yeah. One for me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our State League One Northwest broadcast of Upfield Soccer Park versus Yarraville Glory. My name is William Bennett, bringing you all the action here for Envoy Media this evening. Both Upfield and Yarraville still had a bit of a tough start to the season. Both sides only managing just the solitary point as it stands. Defeats against Westgate and Corolla for our hosts. Draw against Strathmore. So perhaps a bit of a positive sign for our visitors in Yarraville, having managed to get their solitary draw against Westgate. Perhaps that might prove the difference. If there is certainly anything to read into that, though seldom there is. Otherwise, beyond the league, there's certainly been some more positive signs for our hosts as they look up to face former MPL side Bentley Greens just towards the end of this month in the fifth round of the Doherty Cup slash Australia Cup preliminary rounds. Of course, same game, two cups. Quite well stacked together, that. Well, as our visitors certainly struggling in the cup as well, going on to lose 3-0 in a bit of a great derby down in the west with our Toyota East Payok going to advance 3-0 in that cup fixture. Otherwise, our starting lineups for this evening, dispensing with our visitors, we have number five, Andrew Taylor, number six, Loom Walpo, eight, Philip Lessard, number nine, Alexander Semi, Takumi Bruna, number 12, Connor Cullen, number 15, Nicholas Valenzuela, number 16, Ferdows Makainga, 18, Lionel Glorio, 24, Louis Morrison, and number 25, Jonathan Stilavis. As for our host this afternoon, they commence with number 4, Anas Omar, number 5, Nicholas Agrikakis, number 7, Riono, number 9, Vanny Shamoon, number 10, Jonathan Fernandez, number 17, Salvatore Accardo, Number 19, Noah Milhaides. Number 20, Tobias Hagali. Number 26, Daniel Scopoliti. Number 30, Jason Ishak. And number 33, Aidan Hanush. Our referee for this evening is John White. So it's also not our solitary fixture. From a non flow perspective, we do, of course, have the much anticipated Brunswick Juventus versus Pasca Vale. Hey, Others in Yarraville set the kill from right to left for our first half in their mix of navy and a very bright yellow. Otherwise, our hosts in upfield in their very deep navy blue kits, left to right.
and eventually we are given the go-ahead by our referee to get this fixture very much on the way. an early challenge from a home perspective, given how close we are in the action here at Gibb Reserve. The old stray ball was certainly risk of the job. So our hosts managed to break in to the first half. Looking to challenge against the visitors. So a bit of fair control so far to show that possession. that pressure little by little. The host making use of Gary just for that bit of extra support. Gary being their captain. So they're already proving quite the physical figure so far in this game, just compared to certainly the bulk of the Yagos full line. Takes a chance there to get forward. Henry out on this occasion. That felt very much looking the stronger of the two sides as we stand. Now we are aware of some technical difficulties stands. As you can see, the fixture is very much underway. Has been so for a few minutes at this stage, but graphics is just not behaving for us this evening. So we are certainly doing what we can to remedy the situation. Potential opportunity for our visitors to try and press and they search up to the far side wing. Looking for Sam. Well, look on this occasion, they are very much pressing firmly upon the hosts. Thank 
think she'll foul there upon Kono. Right, John. up long by the upfield keeper not quite learning exactly what was this so you can you know, just press back try it them on the counter as we see Moncalia it's the box well aerobatic aerobatic certainly impressive perhaps not quite the touch they desire there and so a nice easy goal kick for upfield. We have been informed that the prior technical difficulties has been remedied. So I'm not quite too sure what's been going on tonight. And so, so let's get rid of one or two gremlins in the network. The switch there for the lady, not quite getting the quiet oomph. This ball's pushed up by the visitors. Cut back through their own half. So on the hat pressure. He's disarmed. Ball set long to the lead team. On the side. Go on, go on. Chance here for upfield. It's looking up a little bit better than that. So eventually played. Well, roughly been ricocheted. Back out of play. I'm sure you can all see at home. Good positions, perhaps a little bit compromised with the crowd. But certainly positive to see so many out. A rather cold Friday night. Technically an autumn evening. So let's feel like that many around. position has been threatening to break past the half backs but to wait a little bit longer and wants to break through to open our scoring tally there's quite a chance here shots denied 
<laughs> by the keeper and now Lino. Some dispute from the host. As a claim, it was off the defender. The regards shall be maintained in the position. There for Scott Leighton. That was very much a promising moment for our hosts. That's the best opportunity we've had for our opening goal as it stands. So the point should break the deadlock. Here's on for the time being. Chance for Yarville. As that field keeper, the chance is forced to respond. Chest lunging the other way within his box. So shot there, the new mark. Fernandez heavily pressured, still control, tries to get across him. It gives Sal a bit of frame rain. Sheldon's free kick. A potentially threatening position as well. Well, swung back into play. No control by either side. He's eventually picked up by Gloria. Back into his play. Back all by Taylor. Taylor back to his keeper. The other side really having fair control at the moment. So that pulled short of break forward. The other side really keeping up with their three passes at the moment. As they look long forward, Sammy wants to move. Sammy's certainly been a key man for the visitors at this stage. But unfortunately, not to break forward, get them alone. At least not all the way at this stage. Sammy looks for Alan Sula, eventually finds him to Walpole, Alan Sula plays back to his captain, do all these. Out for a throw. Cracking opportunity there. Yeah! And the rebound comes to goal. 
Oh, a huge strike. Oh. Apologies there, of course. One of the hazards of the job of being so close to the sidelines. And of course, spectators is occasionally someone gets a little bit of chance for. Oh well. At least someone has their moment of fame. Yes, we can very much confirm that it is upfield nil, Yarrowville Glory one. Well, coming off the head, I do believe it was uh, number 16, Friday's Mike Halea. Well, would remain to be the full team for it. Another close opportunity for our visitors. Threatening to make it two. Certainly in rapid succession. So, can they double their lead within 20 minutes? As we wait the corner. Ball swung into play. Headed clear by Fernandez. Set back forward by Sammy. Over the crossbar. So a moment for Ishak yeah, for a just drop back a bit, have a breather and just hopefully get his back line slightly better shape. And they've been caught up guard not too many times. As far as you would be concerned. Just got to the break forward here. Thrown into the box. Can't connect with a teammate. Just kept in there by Sammy. That throw on the right throw, just to our left. They look long for Cardo in the end. Cardo leaves us. That didn't quite the pace compared to his winner. So upfield. Finally getting themselves and cut up so sheep into the closing final third. Numbers of good options. And even then, it's really a bit outnumbered. Perhaps pointing to a few signs of hesitancy. From Jonathan Willis' side. He's not, once again, we've just got the lead in. Akrakakis, he's got the lead in. Fernandez tries to knock it forward for Shami. Just got the lead in. He's annoyed with a keeper. He's had to intercept the ball, fasten his boot. Can't get forward. Not field. Alright. Use his keeper. Back towards the upfield box past the ladies. Not four back on Tries to find Shaman. Can he swing it in? It's crossing. Can't get it with the teammate. Neither side truly control at the moment. Back of Shaman. Plays for Akakakis who swings it in. 
Can't find a teammate, cleanly. Karuna. Potential foul there, has the advantage. Tries to get forward, and indeed he does. Managed to bring it with Nukalia. Now, initial goal scorer this evening. Long there by Scopolini. But she does manage to find a teammate. There's very much. And a third contestation. Which into the box. Goes wide. But is just about to control there by Fernandez. And shall we corner for upfield? As a short option is played. Scopolini. That's a crack, perhaps not quite enough oomph on this occasion. Sammy, Errol's pass, Agriclacus. Tries to link with Varuna. Force clear. But the offside eventually being called by our assistant referee. By Gloria, Gloria itself pressured back for Runa. Tries to break. Ball pole. Still ladies. Now we're forced to play back, but I might be caught here. No! 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 What are you doing? A few minutes outside the box. And it is a red card for the overall four block. And so the overall will be down to 10. You are a junk rep! And so it is number 24 of Yarraville, Louis Morrison, to be given his marching orders. Do have to apologise for any vulgarities that have arisen after the booking. So they raise the motions across the sidelines. One up the crowd making their feelings well known to our refereeing department. So we should soon have the free kick played as a referee just gets his line ready for the Arrowville back line just to get themselves in their maximum position. Oh, 
played in. Blocked by the ball. That wide with Sammy. Beats Agrocacus. Can't complete the pass. Hey, we won one now. down. Control the game. And so, in response from the Avil bench, they shall make a substitution. Number 15, Nicholas Valenzuela, coming off. He's number four, Giannis Apomidis, who's John Hart. So, once again, that is 15 of Valenzuela off, four Apomidis on. Four of visitors. Film. Threaten Giddens box. Another firm foul there. Potentially. Raja is played. As to its kitchen riser. With the early booking. Definitely raising emotions among both sides this evening. Triple E tries to break through. Once more, he's beaten by his opposing keeper. Certainly been in peak position. Out this half. Sammy, heavily pressured. It's not forward for Munkalea. Oh no. Looks for the switch. Finds his man. Taylor. Sammy, one on one. Sammy. Plays off Fernandez. Fernandez tries. Press up into his winger. In Cardo. Looking for an option. Make sure you scoop a lady. He's at my Sammy. Kept in there by Gloria. Shouts to the host. Can I knock it through? No, I won't. One of the easiest opportunities to have for a goal. Not just this evening, but in general. He's skied there by Cardo. Won't, I'm sure he'll want to forget. And so it's Sharamain here at Gibb Reserve. Upfield nil, Yarraville one. Shall be Walpole to the honour of the kick. Oh, 
Full pop. Swings into the box. Looked forward by Apokakis. And the control of Shimon. Not for a throw. Swung towards Ono, he's pressured by Sammy. Can't get control. Out for a glory throw. Pressure that point by Shalira. He's set up the front of the challenges. Ishak. Some next use of his fullback over. Push. Cover cut. Cover cut. Not long by Hunush. Can't connect. Well, okay. Tries by the Sammy. Can Sammy get there? Yes, he can. Can he get his shot on? Denied by Afrikakis. As he goes to ground. Clown is the referee's decision, however. Sammy back on his feet. As the ball is swung forward into Ricardo. Oh no. Throw for our visitors. Haruna tries to look long. It's collected by Milanus. Plays back to his keeper. To over. Back to Milanus. Looks like a cacus. Hey, a poor touch there. Hey. Yeah, so it's pick up possession. He's a little bit foul if he brought down moments afterwards. So a free kick for Yarraville. Well, that's a very good position. So, we have already copped a couple of challenges so far this evening. So, that's be perhaps a little bit cautious. Let's go to the ground, given the surface. Free kick. Set for Gloria. For a few in the far side of the pitch. Oh, he's not. Should be a free kick. It's a bit difficult just as tight. Where the line does end. Here we play. Here it goes out. Three kicks once the box. Let's get the touch away. He's going to be a bit of a a water's throw up field. Holly Twix is a spit from the other. Stop 
Ball Paul. Paul's ground. Go ahead from a free kick. Swings in the play. Beyond the targets. So Sharon here. Full time being at least. Upfield nil. Yarraville Glory one. Cacus. Finds Cardo. Play back foot. Yeah. Yeah. And he comes off Sammy. So throw in a useful position. Close for Fernandez. Fernandez pressured. Agricacus. Links up for Ocado. Ocado tries to swing in. He's blocked by Agricacus. Twice. Collected by Montclair. Swung in towards the box by Fernandez. Possible chance here for Hamush. Got one of the defender. And so, throw for our host. Cora calls us for our host. And show me Aqua Kakas swinging into play. Again, Arcacus looks for an option. Swung to the box. No one's there to get a touch. Much to the magic of both sides. This is a chance. Can't wait past the wall, we'll be over. Uh, up for Sammy. So, just for an option. Bells pass I know. Tries to swing it forward for Haruna. But still has to chase. Up the position. Put himself under firm pressure. Now to make use of throws at the moment. So it gives them a chance to just get a few numbers forward, try and tap into the box. Certainly an opportunity to try to deliver a second goal for this half. As we edge towards half time. Got six minutes left to play on our clock. Side kick wasted. Uh, 
Mongrai, the upfield back line. Good throw, deep to on top. Definitely needs to make a bit more use of the trees they've had so far. A few shots of handball. Sherbert in with a goal kick, however. Charles was Sunny. Battle. Back for his keeper. Hagley comes, puts the needs. Anush. For Owen. Anush. Hagley. Anush. In the middle game themselves. Once more, back with his cap. Oh, so just mix it up a little bit. Uh, looking for a forward option. Charles managed to find Fernandez. Fernandez is intercepted, however. Charles, Fiago, and Tommy. Well, specifically, to counter. Can't beat the chore one. Oh, no. Cardo. Plus four for Ono. Ono's got space. Can he swing the ball in time? Not quite. A little bit flat for you needed. I feel it's not a possibility as they try to chip forward for Shaman. Out for a goal kick. It's quite some this was. Pressured. Wins the throw. So, pressure there. Bye, Hagley. Cardo, who's disappeared, can't look up to the teammates. Brown, awarded off Hamush. So, I have the honours. Swings into play, tries to find Tinak's head. Can't connect. Well, he's up to appearance. So the safety is all they need at the stage. Never shot for our host. The ball smacked towards goal by Fernandez. Going a bit wide of what he needs. So, as we creak ever closer towards half time, 
it should remain up till nil, the over one. Eventually he snapped forward into play. Could be just play. Certainly. One of the easiest handball decisions you might say tonight. Indeed this season. Another chance for the to sneak through. But being perhaps being a bit more aware of positions of themselves and the ball. Eventually cleared as a look for Carlo. Falls back into our half. Picked up by Shaman. Back for Isha. Plays Omar. Four for Carlo, but again, can't make up with his teammates. Isha. Close for Hagley. Hagley into Akin Kakis. Cardo. Punish. Oh no. Collins Fernandez. It's with Taylor. And again, Bahanush. Sent forward towards Sharon. Core offside. Eventually, given the half time whistle, a bar referee. Score remains upfield nil. The other one. So, right, you grab yourself a nice cup of tea, a few biscuits, and come join us for all the second half action in just a few shakes of a land sale.
I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to yeah. It, too many clubs and not enough pool club. That's true. Who else got this week? Uh, Gang City. At Tomorrow? Pool. At the moment. At the moment, what's the score? Four now. They're up. <laughs> That's a good result. I love some Gang City boys.
Welcome back to Give Reserve for our second half in our State League One Northwest clash between Upfield and Yarraville Glory. Where our present scoreline is Upfield nil, Yarraville one. With that goal coming off there, number 16, Fidaus Moncler. This is also down to 10 after a disputed red card. Otherwise, a few scores from around the grounds this evening. In our opposite on fly media broadcast is Brunswick Juventus 1, Piscopal 0. At least last one checked. Otherwise, in the A League tonight, it's Newcastle Jets 1, Wellington Phoenix 1, in the depths of extra time. In the top flight is Hoelberg United 3, Moreland City 2, in their earlier results. Otherwise, presently, also, cheap in injury time, is Danong City 0, South Melbourne 4. Otherwise, at the moment, at Jack and Rules Reserve is Oakley Cannons 1, St Albans 2. And in the VPL tonight, we see Brunswick City 2, Western United 1, as well as Werribee City 1, Northcote City 0. And so we are back on the way here at Give Reserve. <laughs> As a few aspect has now only avoid that's a concussion of their own. Into Hanush. Oh no. Over. Oh, Finds the ladies. Oh no. Over. Oh, so they're captain. Agley. Kakus. Tries to knock it into the box. Just managed to scrape over the head. Of Fernandez. Fernandez gets across to Shamu. Shamu can't get a touch. And so he's with the Arrow Keeper once more. He's certainly been one of the most consistent performers on the pitch so far this picture. <laughs> Cardo. Burn pressure by Sammy. Calls for a foul. Wait, waved on as this is given an advantage. And eventually, our referee blows. Provide a foul. And there is no advantage left. It's for Yarrow players. Come in, just argue the case from earlier. Yeah? 
Shall we Walpole to the honours of the kick? It's from the safe option, it's playing out for his wing. A little bit more space there, swing the ball in the cross. No connections for the lads in yellow. Sapfield looked to clear and break into their post and half. So they are denied by Taylor, the overall captain. Or Paul. Play forward by his wing. Walpole. Intercepted by Ola. Taps the long ball. Presently it is with Bananas. Sent long for the ladies. The best time of the evening tonight by Avil's investment keeper. So a drop is given. With Lesser, Evermedes, Walpole, to Sammy. Sammy tries to beat his man. Good support is back with Sammy. So they very firm pressure. Shirt firmly tugged there. The fans he just played. Eventually, we shall see our free kick played. It does seem like to be something with the on there. It's ball. Swung into the outfield defender. It's played wide for Scott Lacey. Oh no, pressured. Sires managed to turn away. It's brought down. Is a yellow card for our visitors. With number eight, Philip Lesser. Being shown the card. <laughs> and so, owner with the honours. All right, Phil. Some contact. 
So I can't quite this close from Berla. The young folks from Ono getting ready for his free kick. Bit of a minor tussle. There has been another yellow card shown. Denzel player can't say for certain. Our uh, referee Paul, will you and Gales need to get the situation under third control? The Tempest Flair. Just like the earlier Fox spikes down the road. One certainly completely unrelated to our fixture tonight. It's a mere happy coincidence. Under the lights of the earlier reserves game. Tries to gain control and just put that pressure up while they've got the momentum. Some of the visitors are manically trying to break as the Vars just played on. Spun in by Agricacus. Should find the latest. Just hold, they need to go back, just hold still. Four of these is with Spaletti. Picked up by Moncalo. Brought down. <laughs> Ladies, can't get off the top of the way to the throw. Shot denied. We'll swim back into the box. Ladies, dead collect. Is it back the other way? Can't find a teammate. Still a chance for our host to pressure their opponents. Finally, dealt with by the keeper. We've certainly been a tremendous asset for Yeovil tonight. Over. Plays into Ono. Finds a Nush. Nush. Looking to press forward. Bailey. Cross for Ono. Plays back to his captain. Defense up for a few safe passes. Eventually, it does get forward to the ladies. Plays off Scopoliti. Tries to cross it. Touch gets shot on. Shot on. Denied. By the Yarraville back line. Surely should have been the equaliser. And so, corner for our hosts. Anush. Oh, 
back on the ladies, who's dropped to a full position, just part of support. Fernandez pressured, can swing into the box. Oh no, shoots beyond the target. Swings into the box, can't find the man, just the point. As so Ricky poses side, play out from the back, press forward, sit up for once more from the latest. Can't quite get full control of it. He's fortunately on the final team off in Shaman. Shaman has a shot. Or a target. And so it shall remain up the nil, the over one. So not through lack of effort on the behalf of our hosts. Finds Hanush. Warpole into Sammy. Played back to Sammy. Cut by Ono. Strong interception. Sammy it's on the ground. Good contact in the process. Latest. Plays for Hanush. Hanush. Plays the switch. Fernandez. Looks swings the box. He's cleared by the back line of Yarago. Oh no. Higley. Fernandez. Again, knocks it forward. Looks for Sean. To Ono, who's out of control, spread out wide. A firm challenge there, Bob. Should be let's be safe. That's it, clear. Over with the throw. Close for Ono. To his captain. <laughs> Fernandez again locks the ball. Can't get a touch. Keeper. So he's just kept in play though. So it shan't be a corner for that call. Natural. In the situation. And so line is cleared by the keeper. Ball swung perhaps a little bit wide for what he wanted there. Unless the throw shall be in the opposing half. So that's just all the extra green room the could desire. Omar. Scott Lodi. Close for Ono. Punish. Higley. Scott Lodi. Knocks for Shannon. To the ladies. Shannon. Scott Pallady, <laughs> can't find Lainus, shouts handball, denied by a referee.
Real chance for the hosts here. They can just swing it in. Find a teammate. Shot from Hernandez. Now, certainly quite a few words that can be used to describe that goal. None that I can use at the moment. But beyond completely fantastic. What a strike there from Johnson Fernandez. And so, with the absolute thundering boot, it is upfield one, Yarrowville one. So upfield haven't found a bit more life, a bit of energy in their side. Really looking just to pressure their opponents. Looking they are, as per the first half, down to 10. Looks like Shan, our first substitution for our hosts. Just confirm the numbers for you as soon as we can. Just like it is number four, Anas Omar, who's coming off to be replaced. Place them there, but we can confirm it is number four Anas Omar off for upfield. We shall confirm that substitution for you as soon as we can. Once we have a bit of a friendly angle, a few of the shirts. Brought into play. And we can confirm that he's number 23, Pim Rinkovic, who's come on for our hosts. That's four over off, 23, Rinkovic on. Egregious examples of a handball. That's a yellow card. It's only quite a few counts for a yellow. Indeed. It shall be a yellow for Walpole. Oh no. Let's play short to his fullback. Pegas. Two Fernandes, the early goal scorer. Two tugging from Shannon. Two to Hanush. Still with Hanush. Actually, let's play wide. Playing to Hanush, swings it forward, can't find a teammate. It's with the substitute to move. Can't 
can't make heads and tails of it, won't. So I could try just hit someone. Manically to see every ball which way they want. Ideally into the opposing box. It's very much Arable purely on the back foot of the stage. Something the fatigue is undoubtedly not aiding in their course. Winfrich can't turn there. All the way back with Scott and Leite. Drops support. Finds an ush. An ush. Knocks forward. Two balls with Fernandez there. Slogan's hooked down. And so you have a little bit of a death spot. After what's been a tough few minutes. Just constant pounding pressure by their opponents. Collected by the outfield keeper. Rolled for Odo. Looks for Nush. Nush plays wide. Progressing very simply up the wing. Is eventually intercepted by the Oval back line. We're looking to counter, Sammy.
one, Yarrowville yeah, three, after a tremendous boot by number nine, Alexander Sally. Again, another cracking distance goal. Sure has been the exclusive way of play tonight here at Gibbs Reserve. And so after a bit of a tough start of the season, it's almost certainly that the Oval will go home all three points for the weekend. Something that will certainly be all too happy to have. As for our hosts, well, I'm sure they can get the heads up given the upcoming cup fixture next week against the VPL side, Bentley Greens. So, less than five minutes left for regulation time. Can Upfield try and level the stakes a bit more and get a second for the evening? Something they've run through quite a few times throughout this half alone. Perhaps something they will be arguably deserving. And so. Foul awarded for Yarraville. They can get numbers up. Why can't they make it four? Certainly they've been fantastic in making the best of their opportunities getting full tonight. So they credit themselves and the ability to hang on despite being down a man. Ball set forward into Sammy, who's pressured by Agricacus. Armoured by Agricacus. Hanush. Links forward for Shannon. The lady denied. Certainly, do what I can just to deny every little chance of little hope that they would have. I'm trying to get a second, just trying to scrape back a bit of a distance. Yeah. Shot. Tyler target from Scott Lady. Certainly been unfortunate not to score himself tonight. Yeah. 
York down. Show me free kick for Yahoo. So, Shelby, Captain Taylor with the honours of the free kick. No, the will give it to Walpole instead. Sets up to the mark. So he's looking for the wide option. Tushy plays four. Can't reach his teammates. So surely, not too much longer here at Gifford Sir. He's picked up by Nicolene. Can he get his hat trick to Nort? To play back for Teo. Teo swings into the box. Can he find something? No, he can't. The assistance of Demis Lewis. Oh, Sammy <laughs> can't control. Not four bar fields cleared well up the road by the upfield forward, the Yarrowville forward. So they dropped the neighbours to collect that one. Oh no. Burn pressure there from Teo. Gets on right. Upfield. Looking for a constellation. Come on, Ruth, you have to wait until they score. Very much a late substitution. Here for Yarrow. And so it shall be number nine, Alexander Summy being replaced. Come this way. Hey, last cup, come on. Hey, come on. Come on, Alex. So we've actually back on the way. Can confirm is number 11, Alexander Papadopoulos. He's joined us for the remaining minutes. So that's nine Sammy off, 11 Papadopoulos off. Too much further away from our full time whistle. So it would help if we had a full official tonight. Just give us a few insights. Rich, showing it forward, perhaps one last time for his side. Denied by the keeper. Still in play. No, no. Points for a corner by referee. So, the character makes something of this. No, they can't. As clear. 
Potential final charge it's from Nush. Can't quite link up. Yeah. And finally, we have our full time whistle here at the reserve. The final score Artfield 1, Yarrowfield Glory 3. So, a very, very comfortable final result. Full of visitors who are off. Silly. A bit of Shaky first half, despite having initial 1 0 lead, been forced down to 10, relatively early on. In the end, they do come up trumps and prove they're not just glory by name, they're out tonight, glory by nature as well. And so, from all the media, I've been William Bennett. Until next time, cheerio.